So you want to make games but don't know where to start? Well then you have come to the right place. The goal of this series is to help you get started with coding and learning the Lua programming language, as well as the Love framework. In just a few videos you will learn everything you need in order to start working on your first game. This series assumes no prior programming knowledge. My goal is to make these videos accessible and easy to follow along, even if you have never written a single line of code before. Why should you choose Lua or Love? Well, the simple answer is that it's the framework and language that I use, so naturally I believe it is the best choice, though I might be a little bit biased. However, Lua is a high-level scripting language, so it is very beginner-friendly. Love is also completely free and open source and it doesn't come with an IDE or editor, so you are a lot more free to use whatever you prefer. Speaking of choices, Love supports a wide variety of platforms such as Windows, Linux, Mac, Android and iOS. My name is Simon Renasto and I am the lead programmer at Windmill Games, a small indie game development company. I have worked on a lot of projects, ranging from small tech demos to full commercial games. In the background you can see some of the games that I have worked on. If you want to try any of them, there is a link in the description. The first thing you need to do is to head over to love2d.org and download the appropriate Love version. If you're on Windows and uncertain of what to pick, I recommend the 64-bit installer. The next thing you need to do is to choose a text editor that you will use in order to write your code. Personally, I use Atom. I find it great because it's so modular and editable. You can basically do anything you want. If there's something you don't like about it, you can change it and edit it and modify it until it fits your needs. Before I used Atom, I used something called Sublime Text, which is also great. It does cost about $80, but if you want to try it out, there's an endless trial similar to WinRAR. Another good choice would be Notepad++. I find this to be a very beginner-friendly editor. Finally, I would like to mention Visual Studios, which is also a great choice. There's a lot of other choices as well, but these are just my suggestions for you to check out first. In the end, it doesn't really matter what you use as long as it works for you. Now just make sure that you have downloaded Love properly. Just search for it and try to run it. You should be greeted by the No Game screen. That would indicate that you have done everything correctly and we are ready to start. In order to create our first new project, all we need to do is create a new folder. I'm going to call my folder tutorial. You can call yours whatever you want. Inside of here we are going to start putting Lua files and creating code. But the first thing you need to make sure is that you have enabled file name extensions under view. Create a new text document and because of the file name extension we can see txt here. We're going to change that to Lua. And we're going to rename it to main. This is the first file that Love will search for. It is the main file that will basically dictate everything. This is actually the only requirement that you need in order to have a working project because if we pull this folder on top of the Love or as in my case I've made a shortcut on my desktop, if I pull it onto the shortcut it will launch a empty window which is our new project. There are a few other things that are quite beneficial to have. The first of them is a conf.lua file and I just copied in a pre-existing one and I'm going to open that up in Atom which is my text editor of choice and you can see that we have some code here already. This code is pretty self-explanatory. You don't have to worry if you feel it's very intimidating. We have a function here. I'm going to go over functions in more detail later. But for now, what you can do is just simply create a conf.lua file and copy all of this text over here. Without necessarily having to understand it, we're going to go over everything in due time. However, we can set the title to something else. I'm going to call it tutorial. And when I save and again run our project by pulling it onto the love.exe, you can see that it's now called tutorial. You can also see that we have a console here. And that is because we are enabling the developer console right here. We can also see that the window size has changed from the first time when we launched it because we have set the width and height to be 720p. This line here simply states which love version we're currently using and we are currently using the latest 11.3. I will leave a link 
to a download of this conf file in the description in case you are having trouble copying it over. Now there are a few different ways of running your project. One of them, which I've already shown you, is to drag and drop onto the love. However, we can automate this and make it a little bit faster. And we can do that by creating a batch file. So simply create a new text document and name it something that makes sense to you. I'm going to call it run and then dot bat. First of all, we need to find where we have installed our love. So search for it and open file location. And you can see where you have installed your love. Now that you know where you have installed love, we can open the file again. And in here, we're going to type at echo with capital letters. We're going to type start quotation mark and closing quotation mark space and another quotation mark. And here we are going to type in the path to love. Note that I type love C so that we can enable the console. Then just do another space and a dot. Save this file, close it. And if you double click this batch file, it will now run our program for us. And that's it. You have set up love successfully. You have a project that you're able to start and you're ready to move on to the next video where we are going to start learning the Lua programming language.